Hi, my name is Makasi, and this is part two of my ongoing series of my Red Go and Kiss boots. You know, online shopping is not perfect, but it's a way to purchase products for me. I get anxious and nervous when I shop in stores. When I go in there without buying anything, I feel guilty, even though I know I shouldn't. The cons often outweigh the pros, and I'm banking on the fact that there are more people like me out there. You know, we prefer online shopping. In today's video, I will show you 13 pairs of pants, timestamp, so please roam around to the parts you want to see and skip everything else. Hopefully, this video will bring you one step closer to deciding whether you want these boots or not. My measurements are, I'm 5'10", 171 pounds, my inseam is about 30 to 32, my preferred length for a straight like a trouser is 30. Roll the intro. Out in Georgia. Yeah, shit. I get my weed from California. Alright, so first up we have the skinny jeans. These are a low rise to mid rise. They have a bit of a stretch, you know, 2% to be exact. If you look closely at the bottom, I have tapered these on my own by putting a few safety pins in and folding them inside out. The inseam for these trousers were a 34 and I tapered it to about a 30. It looks better, right? You know, skinny jeans at pool don't look good in my opinion. They sit very well on the boots. I love that it covers most of the upper, which include the elasticized gussets. This give the boots a bit more of a uniform look, a bit cleaner. Fun fact, these jeans are 8 years old and if you look here, I patch it with a bandana. These jeans got me through high school so there's sentimental value there. These are the Rick Owens Berlin sweats. They're on the skinny side for sure, not tapered so they pull around the boots a bit more. These sweats are high rise which is a lot more comfortable than mid to low rise. I don't think I'll ever go back to skinny jeans you know my cocks and balls are just too large it's just a lot of unnecessary pressure on my cock and balls i just love saying cock and balls cock and balls later on in the video you will see how a wider cut trousers will sit better on these boots these are a size small women so they look a bit tight on me i originally bought these for my partner but she didn't like it so i'm gonna wear it so it doesn't go to waste <laughs> Alright, so next up, tapered cut jeans. So these jeans have a broad cut at the top that would taper off at the bottom. These jeans are high rise. I love how comfortable these are, but I'm not too fond of the thickness of the denim material. Denim is just so rough on the skin, you know. Why wear denim when you can wear polyester? Both are equally as bad to the environment. And these are definitely going back to the bin in my basement after this video. I love my polyester trousers and my own please say so. I think I think it looks decent with these jeans i personally would never wear these jeans with these boots but if you think it's good that's all that matters other people are allowed to have an opinion you just need to be comfortable enough in your own skin to hear their opinion and not care about it everything that's been said don't need your reaction when i am in these jeans i am very mobile which is good because these boots are not that mobile so everything else should be as comfortable as can be These jeans are from Balenciaga Spring Summer 2018, look number 11. I didn't like how long it was, so I cut it myself and just terribly sewed it back together for a more straight cut look. Again, I would never wear these pants with the boots, but I just want to show you guys how it would look like. These denim are high rise, so it's very comfortable, but the denim itself is so, so thick and they're so heavy. A little side note about Balenciaga, you know, I like some of Dimna's old stuff. His new stuff, you know, not so much. His new stuff seems to be more about the spectacle rather than the clothes it's more of like the shocking runway with mediocre clothes so anyway you know more b-roll let's keep going sorry for that sorry for that rant these diaper pants are very very high rise you know right now you're looking at it when it's at its highest and by the way i actually do wear it like this most of the time because i like how the bottom of the pants look with these boots when there's a puddle around it it doesn't look as great because the width of the hem isn't that wide so it doesn't pull around the boots the way i want it to i'm very specific when it comes to how these pants sit on footwear the leg opening are a bit bigger than the skinny pants that you've seen previously so they go down a couple inches lower but every inch counts lady by the way, why don't we measure vagina like how we measure a penis and shame women who have really long vagina, you know? Just something to think about. 
And now, you're looking at how these pants look when worn exactly at my waistline. Do you see how it's a bit weird the way it pulls around the boots because the leg opening are small? I don't know, it just... I personally don't like it. If you do, that's fine, but I, I just wouldn't do it. And obviously, we have to talk about the diaper effects. These look terrible from the back. From the front, beautiful. And one of the pros about these diaper pants is that a lot of breathing room so your pants and underwear never bunch up and make you uncomfortable. Alright, so there is a segment of the fashion world where people only wear technical fabric and highly functional pants. I don't have those crazy ones from like Acronym or ACG Nike. By the way, I don't really understand the hype of that culture. Just, you know, not for me. But if you're into that community, let me know why you love these sorts of clothes so much. Like, paint me a picture. Tell me some reason why you love it so much. These are high rise and fairly straight. It is not gay in the slightest, which is a bit odd because you know, everyone is kind of gay, but these trousers, 100% straight. I love how much it covered the boots. It's somber up the boots a little bit. You know, it, it exposes enough details like the grills and the translucent heel, but it covers up most of it. So when you don't want to really let it shine as much, these pants are perfect. Patagonia makes these for hikers and hiking boots are very big, so these have adjustable leg opening to compensate for that. This is what they look like when they're not flared out. Not that good, in my opinion. I wouldn't do it. I get my bitches out in Georgia. Yeah, shit. I get my weed from California. That's that shit. I took my chick up to the north. All right, so undercover pants. So these are from the spring summer 2019 look 21. But if you look at my pants and the pants on the one way, it looks a bit different. The ones on the runway is a bit more flowy. Mine is a bit more structured. So either they made a couple version of these with different material, or I'm just shorter than the model and it doesn't sit on me as well as the model. I blame my mom for these, you know, for making me short and not skinny skinny. These pants are low rise to mid rise, not the most comfortable pants. I bought these because they were on sale and I was in my excitement era of discovering all of these sale websites and everything was just so enticing. I am more in control now more selective with these trousers i have not worn them out not even once i still have the tag and everything in my basement these pants does flared out at the bottom but since the material is more structured and hardened they don't look so good a good pair of flare trousers gotta be flowy this is why i'm not a big fan of like kiko pants because they're more on the technical fabric and thicker fabric so it's not as flowy i love that the flare cover most of the boots it really sombers the boot down. It makes it look more a bit pedestrian. When I pull these up to its highest point, where my balls are a bit uncomfortable, they look the best. I just haven't worn these pants a lot because it's mid-rise or low-rise and the material is thick and heavy. And it's not flowy. It's very technical fabric-like. I don't like that. I want my pants to be flowy. I want it to look good while in motion. Yeah, yeah. Alright, next up. Why like the trousers? These are the pants that I always wear with my kiss boots. I love everything about it. I don't have a lot to say other than high rise, soft polyester blend, flowy. And do you see how it pulls around the boots? But since the material is so soft and flowy, it looks more natural. I love it. I love everything about it. There's not much else to talk about. Just turn the music up and, you know, just enjoy, fellas. And the 3% of the ladies. That's it. I get my bitches out in Georgia. Ooh, yeah, shit. I get my weed from California. That's that shit. I took my chick up to the north. Yeah, badass bitch. I get my light right from the source. Yeah. All right, so next up. These pants are a wool blend trousers that I found in a woman winter shop in Dorchester. Lovely pants. I love the flare of it. These pants are mid-rise, which is not that comfortable, and you know, they were catered toward women. Anyway, let's zoom in real quick and just show you how perfect the flares are. These pants give me like 80s, discos, Celine, YSL type vibe, and you know, I love it. And if these pants were high rise, I would honestly wear it all the time. It covers a good amount of the boots, but the most important feature like the heels and the grill are exposed, which is amazing. Alright, so these pants, these pants you've seen before, I wear them all the time. It's the white like a trouser with the front slits. I don't really have any comment, it just it's pure perfection. Just turn the music up and just enjoy. 
All right, fine. I'll talk about it for a second. Okay, you know, polyester blend, high rise, soft, super flowy. The front slit negates the pooling effect. The side view is just pure orgasm. The black view is just pure ecstasy. By the way, um, here's how the black boots and the white boots look next to each other. I don't know why, but, you know, enjoy. But yeah, I, I love these trousers. I'm trying to find more trousers that have the same composition material-wise, but it just, it's so hard. All right, so the own please say this is pretty much a wide-legged trousers, but just 100% polyester, no blend. I think people who are into menswear scene have at least one pair of own please say. So, if you're wondering how they would look with these boots, they look perfect in my opinion. Also, these are the wide cut, the straight cut. I don't know how they would look together. My girlfriend took all of my other own please say trousers, so you know, blame her. There is one flaw with these trousers, though. I don't like how these trousers look while in motion. Here, take a look. I think these pants look their best when you're standing still. Like they're so thin and light that each crease and wrinkle show themselves momentarily. So when you stand still, it's perfect. I do love how they sit perfectly on the boots though. So if you want that picture perfect, raise them to an uncomfortable amount and it will look even better. These pants are so thin, the polyester is so comfortable and so soft. Texture of your skin. All right, extra wide like a trouser and extra, extra long. So these pants are from the Dirt Collection. Very flowy, very soft, extremely long. I can wear it up to my nipples. Like, I don't know if I have a footage for that, but just take my word for it. Since the fabric is so thin and soft, it's see-through in fact. When you step on it wrong, it will rip and you can see clearly, but I like it, you know. I will wear it until the fabric completely falls off or, you know, I'm just gonna take it to the um, tailor and just have them fix it as to the best of their ability. When the fabric and the boots match the vibe perfectly, it covers almost the entirety of the boots and I, I kind of like that. Yo, there's nothing like your touch. It's the way you lift me up. And finally, extra 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 wide and extra 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 long these are the bowling banana jeans they're currently my favorite pair of pants right now everything about these pants are perfect the weight of it the high rise the soft denim like material the um the zippers the the back zipper to expose my butt with that with all of that being said i would never do this combo these pants are dangerous enough to wear on their own. Adding a 4 inch heel to it, if you trip and fall, you are done. Um, here's how they would look when they're not flared out. Really weird and just something I would never do. With these jeans, I will always flare it out. And you know, as you can see, it covers all of the boots when you walk, but you can fix a little bit by raising them and you will expose the grill a bit, which is like a nice touch. But yeah, once again, I would never do this combo because they're just so dangerous. Or maybe I'm just terrible at walking. Anyway, that is all. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next week. Bye-bye. Yes, shit. I get my weed from California. Yes, that shit. I took my chick up to the north. Yeah, badass bitch. I get my.